Hello Elvena players! This is Rike and Timon from the Elvena team. Today we want to tell you how the story of Elvena will continue. With all these sorcerers and dragons around your town, you should be able to achieve something miraculous, shouldn't you? Maybe you can even dig up a new guest race? The necromancer couldn't have said it better. That's because he actually said it, right before summoning the halflings from the dead. Err, uh, what? Do we have zombies in the game or what? No, of course not. There were no corpses, no dead bodies lying around or whatever, officially. Just some happy people returning to the lands of Elvena, full of love and thankfulness. Let's leave it like that. <clears throat> we know the sorcerers have their own ways, especially the creepy ones calling themselves necromancers. So what's the deal about the halflings? Very cute beings. Known for being smart trading partners, they are also farmers at heart. Out of gratitude for their resurrection, they will deliver a new resource to your town, the so-called Divine Seeds. They are the basis for the many different fields and crops they grow. To receive your daily dose of seeds, you have to upgrade your trader to level 2. Wow, we finally get to upgrade this ancient building and it will produce a new resource for free? Nice! Even those seeds sound a little bit like a resource that you can't store until forever. True. The higher your main hall level and the more completed provinces you have, the more seeds will be produced and indeed for free. But like mana, the stored seeds slowly decay over time. Don't hesitate to use them whenever you can. And where can I use them? I assume they will not only be used for technologies but also for the new settlement, correct? Indeed. Also, from now on, they are needed to construct new cultural buildings. I should also mention that you will receive bonus seeds every time you collect seeds. The amount depends on the amount of ancient wonders you have and their levels. So, collect as often as possible. Okay, so tell me about the new settlements. The farms and the fields, the crops and the food. Wait, I didn't mention the farms and the food. Yeah, you know, while you were explaining endlessly, I took the chance to look into your notes. Really? Well, then you can tell them now. Come on, I'm listening. You talk. Um, okay, so there are farms and fields. The farms, they produce fertilizer, which is used together with divine seeds to plant and upgrade fields. And the fields... You can upgrade the fields three times, um, but every level of the field seems to produce different crops, whatever that means. It means that the field on level 1 produces grain and on level 2 it does not, but it produces carrots then. And on level 3 it produces pumpkins, but no carrots, got it? Hmm, but that means that I have to keep some fields on the low levels to ensure to produce every resource. That's new. Yes. Mindless upgrading to the highest level will not help you this time. Why, thank you. I actually like the idea of having all the different fields at the same time. It looks beautiful. So, what do I need these crops for? I haven't read that far. Uh-huh. You need them to prepare food in the farms. Tingle bread and savvy soup, for instance. And they are needed for the harvest festival. The Harvest Festival? Wasn't that a cultural building from the fairies? Not this Harvest Festival, the Halflings Harvest Festival. It is their biggest holiday and since you rescued them, they are planning to celebrate it in your town. As long as this is not another 10 by 10 cultural building, I'm looking forward to it. Well, it isn't, I promise. Wow, that sounds like a lot of new twists. Now that the sorcerers made sure that I have enough space in my city, I am looking forward to the halfling settlement. How do you like the new guest race? Let us know in the forum or just here right in the comment section. Until next time, keep on playing!